Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <clears throat> Dire team ban. <clears throat> Radiant team ban. <sighs> Dire team pick. Dying wakes. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Zeus. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. I speak for the trees. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Dark Sia. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Oh. Radiant team ban. Dire team ban. <sighs> Radiant team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick.
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Juggernaut. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Tiny. Dire team pick. Then stands ready. Radiant team ban. Alright, hello Dota 2 fans and welcome back to the qualifiers. This is the SEA region and it looks like it's going to be game 2 of Maneski up against Tearing. Looks like Maneski took a pretty convincing game 1. It was a 30 something minute GG out and uh, again I am your caster Android or Annie, however you prefer to call me. If you want to check out my Twitter it's the name of the broadcast channel A-N-N-E-E-D-R-O-I-D any and all feedback is super appreciated. I'm still really trying to crack into the scene, so if you want to let me know what you like or what you hate or, you know, any sort of feedback like that, let me know. So, this game has a pretty interesting draft so far. One thing I want to point out is that Io was picked up and then Maneski grabbed a tiny against it, which is unusual to see them split sides like that, but I do like the Io-Sven pairing. I think that regen is going to make Sven all the more tanky and a force to be reckoned with. Tearing definitely learning from their mistake and picking something a little more reliable and a little more mid-game than the anti-mage, which definitely did not get off the ground last time. Ben, he tried so hard to get that farm. Not successful in the end. Maneski picking themselves up a nature prof nature's profit once again looks like that's probably gonna go to Cuckoo who played it amazing last time. And these bans are pretty interesting. Taking a look at Maneski, they want to ban out the razor. I think that would be a good choice for Taring, but uh, I don't know. There's still a lot of good possibilities. Taring probably need to pick themselves up a mid, unless it's gonna be something funny like an Io Sven mid. I've seen it before. It's 
it's all right, but up against a Zeus, I don't know if they'll get the levels they need, and Zeus, once he gets that level 6, he is yucky. I like Maneski here going for the Juggernaut. I think it'll be pretty nice, but I don't know if there's enough room on the map to farm up both a Juggernaut, a Tiny, and, you know, add the Nature's Prophet in there as well. Radiant team pick. Sorry, they're just checking on my witch mic, doctor. and now it looks like the last pick for Maneski gonna Dying be a witch doctor. I love that combination, able to really do some wombo combos there. You lock someone in with a nature's prophet sprout, you get the witch doctor ultimate going, tiny pops in, doing some damage if he grabs that Agnum Scepter, his is gonna be off the charts. And now tearing their force to pick up a last pick against that. Who are they going to go here? Windrunner's still in the pool if they want some nice range. Uh, they have a lot of options here. I'm not going to lock them into any specific strategy because I am not sure where they're laning anything at this point. Darkseer probably going to go off lane. Support on Dying and certainly a support IO. I don't think I've seen him uh, played any other way. And Alchemist going to be picked up for tearing. Wow, I hope they get enough farm for that big guy. That Grievous Screed going to be so nice. And uh, he can get pretty huge. All right, and now it's going to be just heroes snapping up there, snapping up their players, and we're going to go into game two. Uh, once again, Maneski picked up game one. I am your caster, Android, powered by PGL, the Pro Gaming League. So thank you for them for sponsoring this cast, and I hope you enjoy. I'm casting on behalf of Moonduck TV. They've got a great stream going on, a little bit more relaxed than this cast. If you want to just watch some memes, watch slacks get flamed in chat, that's always fun, too. Remaining. All right, and we are going to be loading into the game very, very Five shortly. Such a quirky draft coming up from Tearing. I love this. We're going to see a pause at the beginning of the game. It would not be SEA Dota without the appropriate pausing. Well, everyone's loaded in. We can go ahead and introduce on the dire side once again is going to be Tearing. We've got Ben playing this awesome Sven here. Yamate going to be on the Alchemist. This is a mid-Alchemist. That could be fun. Ice is going to be on the Darkseer. Ling on the Io, and finally we've got 343 on this Undying. On the side of the Radiant on Maneski, we are going to have Jules on the Witch Doctor. Looks like Cuckoo once again on the Nature's Prophet. Raging Potato gonna be on the Zeus. Rior, or Ryor, is gonna be on the Juggernaut, and now Jesse Vash on the Tiny. So I'm very interested to see how this works out. Maneski playing a very greedy game here, going with a lot of farm-heavy players, having the Juggernaut, the Tiny, and the Nature's Prophet all really dependent on getting space around the map. So hopefully they can do what they did last game, target this Tier 1 tower, make sure they get that down at a reasonable time, open up the dire jungle for themselves. But uh, looks like Tearing, they're more equipped to go up against this. They want to play that early to mid-game strategy. They're not going to go for that late-game anti-mage hard farmer once again. We are going to see some uh, some Alchemist out here. Really, really interesting to see how that's going to match up. Alchemist versus Zeus mid, most likely. Uh, it's going to get real funny. All right, we are going to be unpausing now, going into this uh, pre-game. Let's see where everyone's going to rotate. Are there any smokes picked up currently at the moment? Not yet. <laughs> and now there's just going to be a couple Radiant Heroes walking down the mid lane. It's just based on draft. I think Maneski are playing this one a little too greedy. I want to give it to Tearing just because I think they've gotten a better idea of Maneski's playstyle. They've picked up some uh, more aggressive heroes of their own. Not going to go down that anti-mage route anymore. And I think the Darkseer, man, I love Darkseer so much. He's such a strong offlaner right now. Super stable, able to just sit there on his own, get his farm using ion shells. And once it comes down to team fighting, that vacuum wall is detrimental, especially against hard hitters like the Juggernaut and the Tiny and even the Nature's Prophet. So, Maneski, they've got to play this one a little safer. I'm not quite sure it's in the bag for them yet. I'm going to see definite top rune contest left. here as all of the Radiant Heroes, aside from, uh, who are just kind of chilling in base. They're going to be up here at this top rune. And uh, Dyer not looking to let them have that one. Going to be starting with boots, so not going to go that early bottle build. Maybe playing this one a little bit more stats based. I don't know if we'll be able to handle an alchemist in lane against them, though. That guy can hit pretty hard, even from level 1. 
Now here we go, a rune contest coming in. There's gonna be a Wisp Tether onto the Sven. There's like a Blade Fury out from Rior, but this might not be enough. Looks like everyone getting very, very low from the Ion Shells, but Yamate secures first blood onto the Juggernaut, and it's not over yet. Looks like taking some damage here. Sven, no mana for a second stun. Looks like Undying can't walk back fast enough behind this guy. Those boots are really paying off. It looks like he might get away here. Although mana comes out, there's enough mana. One more hit! Ayo getting the second kill of the game now, so it's gonna be 0-2. Tearing with a kill advantage now, and did they get both bounty runes? Uh, let's check that out. It looks like Ben got the one, and... Well, gosh, I can't see who got the other bounty rune. Oh well. <laughs> In the bottom lane, we're just gonna have Nature's Prophet with his classic build. He picked up three circlets once again, so good golly, that guy's got some stats starting out. Here in the mid, it's gonna be Yamate on the Alchemist against Ryor on Juggernaut. Okay, well there's there's certainly a lane for you. As we are gonna see this Zeus go in the off lane. Well, I hope he can stand up to the power of a tri lane. It's gonna be pretty difficult. He has 506 HP. Certainly not ideal for standing up against pretty aggressive heroes like a Wisp that can go up gonna smack you in the face a couple times. There's gonna be 343 going in. He's pretty low, he's got some tangos, taking some wisp regen, so he'll be alright. Now here in the mid, Juggernaut got very, very low. A, a weakness of putting him in this mid lane. I don't know if he's gonna get the space to have safe farm. Alchemist can certainly do a lot of damage to this guy, although he took some damage once again. Courier gonna be dropping off a nice full bottle. Yamate drinking up to get himself back to full health. Still has a big mana pool to work with. Jewel's going in. Looks like Cuckoo gonna be taking the safe lane, making sure that Nature's Prophet gets a bunch of farm to hop around the map up top here. Looks like there could be some more danger here as Zeus gonna be falling for the second time. Io getting himself another kill. So that Io right now, he's 2 0 1. Best KDA of the game so far. Juggernaut gonna be picking up that poor man's shield, definitely needing that sustainability in lane, although he could be in some trouble here. Alchemist is coming in, and on the back lines we've gotten a dying with a two, uh, decay ready to go. Look, Tombstone still has a nice cooldown going down, but here, yeah, nice engage. Juggernaut taking some damage, standing in the acid spray, but he should be alright unless he decides to do anything real cheeky. We've got a double damage witch doctor just kind of being obnoxious here in the dire secret shop area. And, uh, that's gonna go down. I'm dying killed by a neutral creep. I'm not quite sure that's intentional. I think that might have been Wisp just not tethering in time, not giving enough regen. Oh, uh, well. Uh, it's not the best. <laughs> Here on the bottom lane, Darkseer is doing pretty well for himself. The uh, trying to make do with these Ion Shells, not getting a whole lot of farm, but levels are invaluable. He's only level one, but... He's definitely good at recovery here. Zeus could be in some trouble again. Sven, he's got it done. Looks like Zeus won't be able to juke this one. Gonna take some damage now. Body blocks from the Wisp, doing its job. A couple more last hits should finish it off. Sven, picking up another kill. Zeus, man, you gotta rotate that guy out of there. He's 0-3 and, and just not making it happen. He's uh, third to bottom on the net worth chart. Top being Sven, who's been bottle-fed kills at this point. I'm going in, trying to work on these stacks, but... Again, killed by a neutral is not something you want to see. Not today. That looks like Cuckoo does have 1200 gold in the bank, so probably going for that early Midas. Helped him out a bunch last game, just made him absolutely top of the net worth chart by 20-25 minutes, and, and like a solid strategy, Darkseer taken heavy harassed, forced to go behind the tower. He has a stout shield to protect himself, but hopefully that's enough. Witch Doctor coming up, has the cask, doesn't want to burn it just yet. Now there's gonna be a run in in the jungle as Zeus goes in, finds Yamate. Yamate, no mana for a stun right now, just having the Grievous Greed. And uh, just gonna be some punching, Zeus snapping up the Invis rune. Very nice play there. Tombstone committed as the Blade Fury comes out on the Juggernaut. Tiny's in, he throws the Avalanche, and looks like 343 might be the kill here. Yamate having to kill off his own brother in lane, and now it looks like Rior in some trouble, trying to run back, taking some squirts from the Wisp, using the bottle to keep himself alive, and now Jules on the back line. Some crazy positioning from this guy, having the Voodoo Restoration on might not be enough to save him here there's gonna be a radiant ward for some vision get himself back to tower and no dire heroes go down but juggernaut and witch doctor are getting very very low back to farming here Sven still top of the net worth chart followed up by the nature's profits the safe lanes obviously going well for both teams juggernaut getting a little bit more out of the lane than the alchemist but it's nothing real significant alchemist obviously able to play a real nice catch-up game with a point in that grievous greed 
Now Ryor needs to be a little bit careful here as there is enough mana for a stun on the Alchemist. That looks like Wisp going into some very aggressive positioning. Zeus could be in some trouble, taking the Sven's stun to the face, and now there's the Spirits from the Wisp. Another kill onto the Zeus. This offlane is just so not going Maneski's way right now. I don't know how much more farm you're going to let a Sven have before you realize you need to rotate someone else up in that lane. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Alright, here we're gonna see Juggernaut going in on this Yamate in the mid lane. Like, he does have that Morbid Mask, so probably going in for either Helm of the Dominator or Vlad's. Both are pretty solid options. Built into that Satanic later. Always a good choice. Definitely some survivability. Zeus, man, what are you getting out of this lane? You're just trying to de ward so desperately, but you are dirt poor at this point. Gonna be a rotation in on Dian. Out and out, they know that that observer ward went down, so they know Zeus must be somewhere nearby. Are they gonna be able to catch him? He's gonna go back under the tower. Dying wants that safety here. So Dark's here, trying to get himself back in, has the soul ring for more spam ability. But that's not what we need to watch here. There is going to be some action going down top lane as Sven. He doesn't even care. He's going to go in. He's going to use that war cry now. Tombstone up. Zeus going to be taking another stun. My goodness, this guy cannot go down again. He's going to get away with one hit. And now it looks like he's going to get back to base here. Avalanche coming in from the tiny toss up onto 343. He goes down. This is a poor initiation from tearing. Now it looks like they're just going to try to run away as Sven takes the wisp to safety. It looks like Zeus, he got so low right there, sitting at, I don't know, he probably went down to like 4 or 5 HP. Not gonna die that time, but he is still 0 and 4, picking up a soul ring just Radiant's for some mana spam ability. Very unusual way to run this guy. Well, Yamate going in, still just picking up that one value point in Grievel's Greed, so not going for that ultra hard farming build just yet. And now it looks like Spin is coming out, doing some serious damage to Yamate. There is an ultimate ready to go from the Juggernaut. Is he going to Omni Slash for this? He might have to. As a... Uh, oh man. Looks like a stun's going to come out from the Alchemist. Unstable Concoction connects. And now Ryor going to be in some trouble now as the Healing Ward is down. Yamate, he's ready to go. Needs to run fast and bash up. And now Juggernaut, no mana for Omni Slash. So he has to be real careful here. Vacuum off the mark from Ice. And now Blade Fury to safety as comes in trying to do a little distraction there. Another unstable concoction ready to go. To come in trying to do some damage. Gets the darks here, but now toss up onto Yamate. This could be a big kill here. And it looks like it will be Zeus finally getting himself back in the game with two kill in that fight. Definitely super important and everyone on the radiant made it out alive. Yeah, it looks like we're just gonna go back to farming as Zeus finally chipping up at that net worth. Now sitting at the fifth slot all the way down from the bottom. Definitely doing great. Juggernaut, or sorry, Nature's Prophet TPing back to base. Gotta make sure he stays alive for these next couple engagements. Now Juggernaut still smoked up, heading towards the mid. His smoke's gonna expire pretty soon and just gonna be able to go and get some farm. Looks like he's gonna be trying to see... Rain's already down, and they're gonna go in the jungle trying to look for something cheeky. Juggernaut still has an unspent Omni Slash, hasn't quite used that one yet. Mid lane, there's gonna be a Blade Fury away from the Juggernaut. He gets himself back to safety and takes a couple bottle sips to comfort himself. As Yamate, he's getting kind of big here. Looks like he's third on the net worth chart, and that's easily changeable once we hit the 20 30 minute mark. That guy's gonna snowball up out of control, picking up some crazy items. Juggernaut does have the phase boots and 90 gold in his inventory, so uh, he's not doing ideal in terms of net worth. He's fourth, which is not really what you want to see on a mid-trans, uh, mid-turned carry. Now Yamate gonna pick another Blade Fury to the face. There's gonna be a rotation in from the Undying here. Relocate in from the Wisp and the Sven. Now it looks like it's gonna be a TP in from the Nature's Prophet, but on the back line, time kicked off. Cuckoo, this could be a bad rotation for you, sir, and it looks like Cuckoo's gonna go ahead and pick himself off a kill, though. This could be great here, as Ben gonna be trying to take down this Witch Doctor. This guy has a nasty little ward in his face, but so far, three for three trade is... Well, I'm not really sure who came out on top of that. It looks like a pretty decent fight for both sides. In terms of total net worth, wow, that fight went pretty heavily in favor of Daring, actually. You have a nice XP lead. In terms of gold, it's pretty damn even. Less than 1,000 at 10 minutes in the game, so definitely... Still a very, very close game tearing with a slight kill advantage, but not really anything to write home about. 
going to be a relocate in here from the Nature's Prophet. Just trying to get back here to the bottom lane to farm. He does pick himself up some drums, so going to get nice stats on that. Going to be able to run a little faster, have a little more mana to his name, and he's finally trying to get back in this game. He does pick up the arcane boots, so finally some mana. He'll be able to scan the spells a little bit more. It looks like Tiny going in for the avalanche. Catches on Yamate, but not enough to prevent him from getting the bounty rune. The... Still back here to see him jug farm up. He has the, uh... Reach and rune in this bottle. And now in the bottom lane, it's gonna be Nature's Prophet trying to push the tower as Ice desperately trying to get himself back up on top of this net worth chart. He's uh, nowhere near that top spot. Had a pretty tricky time in the offlane as he has gotten harassed back by the Nature's Prophet. Now there's gonna be a TP in here, Blade Fury going in, Yamate taking some damage. The from the Witch Doctor is committed and secures a kill. Juggernaut definitely doing well in this lane. Now there's gonna be a nice mid lane push and yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good as there's gonna be Second drums picked up on the Juggernaut. I'm not quite sure. Is 343 coming in? Does have the tombstone? Does he want to pop this down? And now it looks like they're just going to let the mid tower go. It's going to be pretty nice, but up top, like a tiny whisk doing, or sorry, Sven whisk doing some serious damage in this tower. One more hit, teams down. Witch Doctor coming in. Cancel that TP, buddy. There we go. That was definitely the safer move. Radiant Heroes, they're all trying to figure out their next move as tearing quite as easy a game as it was for Maneski last time. Juggernaut. He's picking himself something. The courier's coming to him. What's it got? Well, it's got a, uh... Alright. <laughs> Nothing really is the answer there. And, uh, now Sven just gonna go take some Ancients. Wisp is there, giving him some nice regen, using that overcharge, and that'll be some nice Ancients for him. He has the Sanj and Yasha almost ready, including the Helm of the Dominator. That is pretty farmed up. Top of the net worth chart definitely helping him out. Mid lane here, we're just gonna see Jules continue to farm up, does have that Bracer as well, wanting some nice tank ability up against a really heavy hitting lineup like the Sven and the Alchemist, and even the Undying now. Nice, right, gonna be going, getting that Chainmail, so it looks like he is gonna go for the Mechanism, having the headdress built and working towards that Buckler. Alchemist has the Arcane Rune in his bottle if he wants to start a fight. And, uh, we've, we haven't seen as much action as I was expecting here. SEA Dota, definitely more patient than the, uh, South American and EU Dota I'm used to casting. Yeah, we're just gonna see Jug continue to farm. He needs a little more gold to himself, and... Well, I don't know what's going on here. In terms of XP and net worth, it's still pretty neck and neck. I'm just gonna be searching self back, and... Looks like he's just going in, has almost a mech completed, just needs another 900 gold for that recipe. Hand of Midas now on the Nature's Prophet down bottom. We are going to see some Sven going in, pretty aggressive. Omni Slash on the Juggernaut, does he want to use it? Cuckoo's here and... Well, I don't know. There's just going to be a rotation in back from Sven, he's, he's out of here. Now 343 might be in some trouble here. Is he going to go for the Avalanche? It looks like Tiny will do that. Does ready to go? We're not going to use it as his Radiant Buddy's not quite close enough for him to go in. Yamate does pick himself up that medallion, probably gonna go into a solar crest, picking up that nice armor. And man, where's the action this game? It's just kind of a farm fest. Down bottom, looks like Jules desperately wants to go in. The little tree ants on the tower, getting it down slowly but surely. And Zeus, he has the arcane boots, looks like he does have the sage's mask now, as well as the soul ring, so his mana pool, pretty nice, but... Oh man, this could be a big fight now. Like there's a five or four man rotation in, although Nature's Prophet, he's here for the Radiant. This big now, looks like Avalanche off the mark from the Tiny, reveals his positioning, but the tower goes down. Prophet getting the, the hits for that. He's second on the net worth chart. Sven still taking the top spot. There is going to be a smoke up from the Radiant that was not scouted out by the Dyer, I don't believe. And now there's just going to be some casual farming. Drums committed. They want ice here. He's going to take a stun. He's still surged up, but there's the death ward. Easy kill right there. Witch Doctor, he's dropping the base, just making sure they get that one. And now, Radiant, they just kind of chill. Alchemist over here doing what he can. He's got a lot of gold for himself. With dropping the bottle, letting Alk have the bounty rune, because that is worth a lot when you got two points in Grievel Grade. And now there's going to be an initiation here. Blade Fury by the Juggernaut, trying to keep himself alive. He does take a Sven stun now, and damn, Cuckoo, he's running for his life, but Omni Slash gonna be going through, and now Sven trying to do what he can, trying to dash out of those trees, takes an avalanche, trying to slow himself down, but now that is an easy kill on the tiny Alchemist. Very angry, there's three dire heroes ready to go, ready to go for kills, and now looks for Agent Potato taking all of the aggression. Yamate getting a double kill, are they gonna stop here? It looks like the dire heroes are gonna take that advantage, are they gonna head straight in the Roche pit? 
Well, I think that's the call, is there's no Tiny or Zeus to contest it. It'd be a pretty quick Roche for them. I know, doing great this game. Definitely making sure he's always tethered to that Sven. Such a strong combination that we don't see nearly as much as we should. And the mid is just going to be Radiant. They probably know this is going on, but they do not want to tangle with the likes of the Dire right now. And looks like Sven going to be finishing it off, having a nice slot for that Aegis. And... Yep, that's easy peasy. Aegis on the Sven at 15 minutes. Here in the mid lane, there is going to be an unstable concoction connecting onto the Witch Doctor. That's a relocate, and that is a dead little Witch Doctor, although Cask bouncing like crazy, but nah, Ling, he's got that. One last auto attack finishes off the Witch Doctor. So pretty nice kill score going the way of tearing, and well, I mean, this looks like it's definitely not as easy a game for Maneski. They can definitely still come back from this, but tearing starting to secure that pretty snowbally lead. Up top, there's going to be some push onto this tower as Cuckoo wants to make sure he gets it. And uh, I think that'll be the case here. Maybe giving it to the Juggernaut? And no, it looks like just going to be killed by some treants. Sven taking out the bottom tower. That's going to help him out a lot. Still very comfortably at the top of the net worth chart. Having that Helm of the Dominator does pick himself up an Ogre Club, so most likely scaling into BKB, getting the nice strength stat. He has the S and Y, so this guy's stats are pretty solid. Tiny definitely not going for that, uh core build here as he does have a smoke and a bracer so it's not gonna be a hard hitting pile of rocks here Yamate is kind of cleaning up this top lane got two points in the Grievous Greed and that's gonna help him out a lot getting back on the net worth chart but he's certainly not top slot just yet has to still fight with that Nature's Prophet looks like there might be a rotation here into the Radiant Jungle ice is poking out it looks like there could be some movement onto Jules are they gonna catch him in time here Looks like Sven's going in, he wants this desperately, can the stun connect? And it looks like there's Vision, there it is, Jules might be going down once again, Avalanche to try to save him, but no. Looks like Darkseer securing the kill there, using that Ion Shell to KS his buddy. And now there's going to be a smoke up from the Dire Heroes as Yamate and 343, they're going in and I think they're going to go for it, they're going to find him. Rior, you got to be careful here buddy, blink in, oh really nice dodge using the Blade Fury, are they going to be able to secure the kill? There's not enough damage, he back to base and he's A-OK -okay, but here in the bottom lane, Sven, he's going in, he pops the ultimate, Cuckoo could be in some trouble here, does take a stun and now beautiful vacuum in from Ice, breaking up everything, Dark getting another kill from that Ion Shell and now... Juggernaut's in, he has the Omni Slash, cleaning up the creeps before he pops it, and like Zeus just trying to mitigate the damage, but Dire, they could be doing it, they could be taking game two of this best of two series. Radiant, they're scared right now, they're turtling up, acting as four, Witch Doctor's got the ult, but does he even have the time to cast it? It's like there's gonna be jewels going in, gonna be taking some damage here, and now there's another stun from the Sven! So much damage coming out from the Dire here. Tombstone's down. Zombies are chasing it. Looks like Tiny could be the first to fall. A couple more hits should do it. It looks like that'll be the case here. Yamate going in, showing no mercy. Stunning up. Oh, man. This is really dangerous now as four are dead. Witch Doctor, the lone survivor on the Radiant. And now Yamate finally going to show some mercy. Let him live for now. The tier 2 tower 100% belongs to the Dire. They're going to crush it down. No fortify left on the Radiant. And, uh... Tower's gonna go the way of creeps, I guess. Now relocate into mid lane. Looks like Cuckoo gonna be taking some damage. He can't get out in time. Ben is wicked sick. This is definitely a different game than what we saw him on the Anti-Mage the first time. He is doing awesome for himself. Steadily at the top of the net worth chart. Now followed up by the Alchemist. This is starting to snowball in favor of the Dire. Pairing. It's looking hard for them to lose. Now there's gonna be a 10,000 XP advantage. Uh, in terms of gold, that's gonna be about... See, that's gonna be about 7,500 too. Radiance middle tower. Oh, now they're going to rotate towards the mid lane, although Juggernaut having none of that, going in to try to mitigate some of the creep push. And Radiant just kind of left to pick up the pieces of what used to be their secure lanes. Alchemist continuing to farm, does now have the Solar Crest completed, another 2k gold, ready to do whatever he wants with. See what he's gonna build there. I love the Blink Dagger pickup. I think that mobility is perfect for this game. Jumping into all the slippery heroes like the Tiny, like the Nature's Prophet. Oh, even the Juggernaut's got a nice escape. And Ling, definitely not the Shadow Shaman we saw being the sacrificial lamb here. He is 4, 1, and 12 on this IO. Kill participation has been crazy from this guy. Looks like IO picking himself up a uh, Shadow Amulet, gonna go into that cloak, make himself a Glimmer Cape. Nice evasion, nice mag magic resist, and 
They'll be able to get away from fights pretty securely now. Ping's coming out from everyone here. Sven just kind of cleaning up these creeps like it's nothing. Does have the BKB completed. Ten seconds left on that thing, so he hasn't debuted it just yet. Um, probably sure Potato Gaming spotted it out, but uh, maybe not. It could be a surprise in the next team fight. Kill score obviously 9 to 19. Tearing are having an easy time of this. And now we're just gonna see. Oh, there's the reclaimed Aegis sound as it does not get used. Up here though, there could be a smoke gank up, and it looks like there will be stable concoction getting channeled, and this is gonna be an unfortunate juggernaut, although he is gonna beautiful Blade Fury TPing out in time, making Yamate stun up himself and forcing a rotation for nothing. Three dire heroes wasting their time now as Juggernaut getting back to safety. Well, that would be a tribute. Just gonna go ahead, grab a bounty rune, keep himself a little bit relevant here. Sixth on the net worth chart. Should be doing a better job. Trying to secure himself some farm now as a uh, Ryor has the drums, has the Yasha. Gonna be going for that song, picking himself up a belt of strength. But obviously not the best timing on that in the world, but, you know, it's, it's something. Jules going in, does have that cloak, so he could be going for a Glimmer Cape or a Pipe or really whatever he wants, but I think Glimmer Cape is the bet here. Wants to be able to channel that ult with a little bit of illusion of safety. But man, this Fen, he's starting to get out of control here. He is about two-thirds bigger than Nature's Prophet, who's the top net worth on the Radiant side. Looks like Nature's Prophet going to be going for that Ags. Almost completed with it, too. Needs about 400 more gold. That'll make his ult start to do some real work, but... He's, he's got to do a lot to make sure this, this rat game is winnable. We are going to see Tiny. He does have the Blink Dagger now. That's definitely something that's going to make this next team fight a whole lot different for Maneski. Like, there's... Bunch of Dyer's heroes here, ready to go. Three in the jungle and two in the bot lane. Are they just going to try to go for the surround push? Making Radiant waste their time here. They're playing so cautiously. They need to secure this game to absolutely dominate this best of two. It could go for a 1-1 split. Don't know how this game's looking. It just Prophet kind of teasing out the teleport there. Uh, that's a cool little taunt going on. Uh, sprout up. Off some trees and of the wood. Well, I'm not quite sure what the play is here for either team. It seems like both teams a little bit afraid to go for that full five on five engage, and I don't blame them. These team fights could go either way right now. I think Tearing definitely have it in favor if they get that full uh, full wrath of the IO Sven combo going off. Sven picking himself up a Reaver. The guy hits like a truck right now. He is hitting for over 200 damage and. Well, that's that's a big smack, especially with the cleave. I don't think uh, any of the Maneski heroes can really take that. There's no one that's ultra, ultra tanky. And I was just going to be rotation up here. Sven, Io doing their thing. Arming up, clearing out the camps, and just making Sven bigger and bigger. I think the longer this game goes, the more in favor of tearing it is. And, well, Maneski, if they want to get back in this game, they've got to start making something happen. We're just going to be respawning in just over a minute here. They send a dominated melee creep here into the into the pit. There's going to be a pause out from the Darkseer. A little bit of lag apparently coming out. Let's see what's up with that. And Doctor just kind of sitting in the jungle here, taking a look at everyone's items. I mean, what's coming out for everyone? Is there anything big? It looks like Io finishes up that Glimmer Cape. Ben, just absolutely monstrous. And Well, it looks like Zeus has the Aether Lens. That's going to be... A nice pickup for him, trying to cast things from long range. He does have the Yules as well, so going in, trying to lock down heroes in the team fight. If he can get the Yules off on the Sven or the Alchemist, this could be a one team fight for Maneski, but either way, I think they've got to make something happen, and happen fast, because Alchemist is only going to get huger now, having three points in the Greeble's Greed, another point to spend if he needs to, and now Sven has the Reaver. This is probably going to be a Satanic. Yeah, he just needs the recipe for that. He's got it if he wants it. Probably wanting to save her buyback. Gonna wait until he has a little more gold, which really, really shouldn't be that bad, looks like. There's gonna be some issues with brothers being off the internet. Taking up that bandwidth. I've been doing a fantastic job here, Lang definitely being where he needs to be for every team fight. Relocate ganks have been on point, and my goodness, Ben, this is the most different game you can ask for. In game one, we saw him on the anti-mage that just failed to lift off the ground, getting like a 20, 
something minute battle fury and a 30 something minute manta well this is a different story here as the sven he's got all the items in the world now 343 doing all right looks like he also has the cloak probably going to be going into a pipe that's my guess and i think that could really help out mitigate some of the magic damage on maneski one from the zeus and well heck even the witch doctor we are going to be going back in ready to finish this off this could be a long one here if the alchemist takes his time with the farm well, the three heroes here from the Dire. They could extend if they want to catch out the Zeus. They've got the opportunity, but nah, Zeus is going to back. Spidey sends his tingle and saying, there's nothing there for me. Here in the bottom lane, Judd continuing to farm does pick himself the Sanj and Yasha. The drums and the face boots, but he needs his next big item if he wants to keep up with this huge Sven. And again, to kind of take an ancient stack, that'll be some more gold in his pocket. This is looking easier and easier for tearing. I think it's their game to throw at this point. Ice even making himself useful now. F fifth on the net worth chart. And he's he's got those Guardian Greaves, so that's going to help out in the next couple of team fights. Using those Greaves just to keep himself healthy. Doesn't connect onto 343, so no health for you. Here, we're going to see a bounty rune. Tiny going to be the one to collect that up, hopefully. No, leaving it for the Zeus. That'll help out a lot. Io getting a regen rune. That's about the best rune you can ask for in that cute little star. And this is getting kind of ugly. If that goes off the next team fight, well, my goodness, I think Terran have secured themselves the game. Josh is now up. That is a spawn going to be scouted out. Come on, range creep. One more step and you can see it. I promise. Looks like it is pinged out. Yep, they know the Roche is out, but Radiant, well, I don't think they've got any idea. They might know the range creep is there, but they don't know what it sees. Alchemist has that BKB. It's super fresh. Looks like it is going to get pinged out here. He's channeling the stun. Juggernaut going to be able to get away. And the Blade Fury. Nice timing on that. That's what, the third time we've seen that go down? And uh, here we go. We're going to see Roche pinged out once again. See what they can do. Again, just much more of a stalemate game. We are going to see 28 kills at 25 minutes. So a little bit more than a kill a minute, but... Certainly not the action that we've seen in some of the qualifier games right now. Sven walking into the pit. He doesn't care who sees him. It is scouted out by the Radiant, pinged by the Juggernaut. Is there going to be a defense here by the Radiant? Or are they just going to let Sven have an Aegis? Well, my goodness, I think that would be quite a mistake. But at this point, what can Maneski do about it? They're going to bring Alchemist into the pit. Who's dropping the item? Who's taking this? Is like Sven building into a heart after all. Not going to go for that Satanic. Well, he just wants to be the biggest kid on the block. It just Prophet picking up a blink, Darkseer picking up a blink, everybody's got a blink! But only one team has an Aegis, and it's going to Sven. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Just Prophet making himself scarce here, as there's gonna be mass TPs in from the Dyer. Ensure that this tower doesn't fall, he's trying to play the Ratlord game, but... I don't know if he can make it happen, he's third on the net worth chart, but... Alchemist and Sven, they're gonna keep going up and up and up. Now Ben in this bottom lane. Still got a full BKB. He hasn't had to use it for a fight yet. He's had that thing for a good while now. Saving it and making it worth its money. Just gonna continue to be a farm fest here. We're gonna see Juggernaut try to take these little creeps here. He has 2k gold in the bank. Gonna be working on his item. More saving for buyback either way. He's got the buyback, but a little more money in Yamate. <laughs> Gotta be going and popping his ult for these illusions. That's uh, that's quirky. We are gonna see Hyperstone picked up on the Alchemist. Probably gonna be an AC, but you never know. Just gobble up a Moon Shard, get some nice attack speed. And uh, okay, just gonna be uh, casting your Solar Crest on the Jug Illusion. Nature's Prophet ult going off. I believe he has the Ags completed. He does, so that's gonna hurt a fair amount. TPing up to the top lane, Radiant. They're gonna make it happen here. Little do they know, there's 343 here to make your day a oh, pain in the ass here as Yamate. He's channeling a stun, he wants to make it happen. There's gonna be an initiation here. He gets thrown off of the cuckoo. There's negative armor being cast. Is this gonna happen here? But no, walking away free as there is gonna be a kill from the Sven onto the tiny. I do apologize for missing that. There was such a place up top I got faded out, but now here it is. T from the Nature's Prophet, he's gonna try to just trees himself and get out alive, and I think that's the play. Uh, there's nothing they can do to stop it here. Is Elk already using his unstable concoction? But now, here's the fight. Them taking a lot of damage, trying to keep himself alive here. He's got the Aegis. Ooh, vacuum wall connects onto three. So much damage from the dire trees doing what they can. Cuckoo getting very low here. Ben, Aegis gonna be popped on him. 
the, the Radiant have their chance to get away, but now BKB from the Alchemist channeling is done. Not gonna connect them. Boom! On to Tiny. Another easy kill. Jesse Bash going down once again. He does get the kill on the IO. Pays for it with his life. That fight went in favor of tearing as they now open up the opportunity to force down the mid. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what impact the support Tiny's really had on the game. He's gotten some nice avalanches, but... It's it's not the huge Tiny I, I know and love. In terms of uh, XP and gold, it's looking pretty heavily set in favor of tearing. This is... That's Grim for Maneski. They had such a strong game one, but... Well, I think they just got straight up countered in this one. Cuckoo does have a lot of items here. Sven picking himself up a Blink Dagger too. Let's just... My goodness, he is just so big. Let's count the Blink Daggers going on here. Uh, we've got Tiny. We've got Nature's Prophet here on the Dire. We've got here, uh, Alchemist and the Sven. So, well, this is a game of mobility and looks like the Dire might be winning. With me. Kind of walking in. Again, another stalemate out. This is... Not the most exciting game I've ever casted, but my goodness, is it important. Tiny not having a whole lot of net worth to his name, as both the lowest net worth heroes are on the Radiant. Cohen for the toss up just to secure himself some farm. I don't know if you want to be wasting that, buddy, as the dire heroes, they're here in the lane, and... Ben could start pushing if he wants to, that's the last remaining tier 2 tower on the side of the Radiant, and... Boy, I think Tearing are hungry for some secure map advantage. It's gonna be a 30 minute game now and no high ground push just yet, but again, with a Sven, an Alchemist, a Tiny, a Juggernaut, we're looking into the late, late game. Sven now going in, cleaving up these creeps like it's nothing. Looks like the uh, Zeus ult's gonna be used probably just for scouting purposes, finding out the Dire Heroes, realizing that there's gonna be a rotation in all the Dire Heroes except one, and now like Sven, easy pick up on the tower, but up here we are gonna see Nature's Prophet surrounding this tower as well. Dark's here, not really feeling like there's a whole lot he can do about it, using the Ion Shell to clean up some of the tree ants, but now they are deciding whether they want to commit to this tier 3, and they are just gonna back. It looks like they are losing the tower here. I don't know what the plan is. Looks like the Dark's here able to pick up the trees in time, and now, oh man, Nature's Prophet for the chief play! Gonna be going in, gets the tower and the blink away. That guy, he's got some grapes on him, that's for sure. And now running back to safety is gonna get away here. As Wisp not able to scout him out, although who? The uh, BD Wisp could do it, but no, blink it! Oh, stun here from Ben! This could be horrible for the Nature's Prophet, he's trying to get away! Oh, one more hit, can it happen? It looks like the kill will go to Sven. Wow, that was... It was a nice play attempt from the Nature's Prophet, but it looks like it just got punished over and over again from tearing. I don't know, it seems like every play Maneski go for, Terran get themselves a bigger objective or a bigger kill or a bigger team fight. Just again, in terms of gold and XP, it's getting pretty grim. Kind of planing out for the last 10 or so minutes, but not really much else going on. Here we're going to see Ben try to initiate, trying to stamp himself up for this first tier 3 push of the game. Does he want to go into the high ground here? Is he going to get punished for it? Is, oh, there's the avalanche not connect onto Sven. Sven still got the BKB. And now there's going to be a blink in. Unstable concoction does not connect as there's a Yule's up. Use alt being cast, mostly just to figure out where the dire heroes are. But now Ben going in. Fortify cast by the Radiant. They want this tier 3 tower alive. I don't know if this is it. Ben going in, smacking this tower up and gonna get punished for this, taking a solo Omni Flash right to the face, Tiny going in, Avalanche connects, but BKB is out, Vacuum Wall connects, and Witch Doctor's the first to fall in this fight, Unstable Concoction is gonna go ahead, connect onto the Juggernaut, and I think these racks are gonna go the way of tearing, is this gonna be a GG out here? I'm really not sure what else can happen, it's like toss up from the Tiny, but easy punishment, one smack is gonna take him down to half health, Dire, they're gonna run away without losing anything for that fight. And no, it looks like they might even find the Nature's Prophet here as well. It's gonna get stunned up at the last second. You can't get out of this one, friend, and Io getting the kill for that. Great vacuum sucking him out of his little ring of trees. And I think this is gonna be secured Lena Rex. Gonna be taking a veil to the face there, Sven. You might want to watch yourself. And Zeus doing what he can, but Unstable Concoction has come through. I know the Yule's dodge, but well, that's not gonna save your base, Radiant. Out cleaning up, and, and this is starting to look 
less and less like Mineski have it in their grasp. There's a blink out from the tiny avalanche, does not connect, and now Sven gonna punish him up. That was a three hit. Aim is paused by the tiny. And, uh, sure what you're waiting for there. Well, this is, um, well, it's something. Kills are 10 to 25. Terran taking it away. Well, Alchemist is only going to get bigger, and Sven, he's huge, having 5,100 gold in the bank. There's lag coming out for Maneski, but... Well, you can't blame a huge Sven on lag. That was just great playing all around by tearing, and now it looks like they're going to rotate in, looking for the second lane of Rax. I don't know if Maneski can punish this. Witch Doctor, no ult for another five seconds. He's got the Glimmer Cape. Ready to go, and now it looks like... Well, Juggernaut, he is just not the big guy they need for this fight. Gonna be spinning away to safety. And no, gonna get cleaned up. Godlike Sven. Dominating Alchemist. This is, uh, possibly the GG here as Zeus. Gonna be going in, trying to secure the kill on the Alchemist, but Alchemist is just too huge. Now gonna be dodging a stun from the Sven by using himself up, but I think that might be it. Goodbye, Zeus. Back to immortality for you, and now... Racks are out, and it's GG called out. This is going to be a 1-1 series. Nesky, they grab game one, but Terran bring it home for game two. Really beautiful out drafting, out playing, and I am sure happy I got to see an alchemist and a tiny, or sorry, and a wisp fen. That was sure fun to watch, and well, even series. If you want to tune in for next game, I'm going to be following Maneski as they face off against Execration for another best of two in the SEA qualifiers. I've been your caster, Android. You can follow me on Twitter at Android, A-N-N-E-E-D-R-O-I-D. And uh, please give me any feedback you have. I'm still a rising caster trying to improve, trying to figure out good what's bad. So let me know your opinions and well, I sure hope you enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching. I will be live with Execration versus Maneski in just a couple of minutes, so make sure to check that watch tab and tune in.